In this video, I will show you how you can quickly color grade your pictures using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drone here and as you can see this is the final output and this is the original photo. Now I found this really beautiful stock photo on deviantart.com and if you want to use it, the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now I already have my photo open in this new document as you can see here. You can go to file and open any photo you want. Now to start this effect, I will first go to my adjustment layers and I will select channel mixer. Uh, and in channel mixer you have different output channels. So first of all I will start with red and I will make my red all the way to 200%. And I will decrease my green uh, to somewhere around 150. Uh, just keep it close to the end. Don't take it all the way, okay? Just keep a little bit space. So I think 130, good. Then we will skip the green channel and we will directly go to blue. And in the blue, this time you have to decrease your red and increase your green. As you can see, now your base is ready and you have to play around with slider until your output looks uh, the way you like it, okay? Uh, so make sure that it's not overly orange or overly uh, or blue just try to keep the balance uh, and i think uh, this looks uh, really good uh, yeah enough orange and enough red let's go back to the blue uh, and that looks really good to be honest uh, and here yeah so the basic layout is ready uh, but as a side effect as you can see uh, the color of her lipstick uh, that's different and we also have really strong orange color in her hands so to get rid of that as you can see we have this brush tool uh, and make sure your color is black after that you have this layer mask here and you can go and remove it from here as you can see uh, just simply paint with black brush and it will go away after that when you start to remove the color from the hands make sure that you uh, reduce the opacity to somewhere around 30-40% so it looks a bit more natural uh, then you can go and remove it from here as you can see uh, on 100% it looks a bit weird nothing else uh, so now the hands are done the lips are natural uh, and the basic color grading is done once your basic color grading is done, it's time to make it a little bit more powerful. So to do that, you go to your adjustment layers and you select hue and saturation. The reason for this is because we have different channels. So as you can see, the background is a little bit more cyan. So you go to cyan and you make it a little less bright. Uh, and then you go and increase its saturation. So colors are a bit more intense. Now it's totally up to you. If you don't like it, don't make them intense. So that looks good and then I will go to my yellows because her skin color is related to yellow. Uh, so there I will make it a little bit more saturated but make sure it doesn't look cartoony or fake okay. Uh, so that looks nice and I will also increase the lightness a bit so she uh, looks more brighter. Uh, and then I will do the same because red is also close to her skin color. Uh, so I will increase the saturation a touch uh, and then I will go and increase the lightness so she is a bit more brighter. Uh, so now if we turn it on and off, we can see the difference. The colors are more intense and it looks better. And after that comes the final adjustment layer. So you go and create a new adjustment layer and you select curves. Now in the curves, uh, do you see this little box here, the small one? You click a dot exactly here as you can see. And then you in, uh, take this point up like that. And then you make the balance so it doesn't look very dull. So this way you can create that hazy feeling that we all love and it also goes really good with the smoke that is already in the background. And that's it like really this is the final output and this is the original one and this is the edited one. And the awesome thing about this method is that everything is in adjustment layer so if you don't like something if you like less intensity in your channel mixer so you can simply go and decrease the opacity so it's less colorful. And the same goes for every adjustment layer. So that is it and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below uh, and till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop.